Yay, now it's working. Awesome. All right. So here we go. You guys are going to help me figure it out. You ready? It's like a mystery. All right. So splat. Hmm, what do you see? What do you see? Yes, Isabella. Yeah, two splats and how many circles, Sophia? Four, but also, can you turn off the light? Yes. Yes, I can do that. Absolutely. Is that a little better? The lighting is a little bit better. Good. Awesome. Thank you for telling me. I appreciate that. All right. So now we're going to figure out what's in that question mark. So we know we have two splats, we know we have four circles. We do know that because they're the same color, there's the same amount in each one. So what are my possibilities? If I have four in each of these, how many would I have total? Tyler? Eight. Eight, but don't forget, don't forget about the other four. So I'd have eight in the splats. How many would I have all together? 12. 12, see? That's a multi-step problem. You gotta figure out first what's in each one and then add the additional one. Good, good. What's another possibility? What if I have six in each of those? How many total would I have, Susan? Susan, you there? So if I have six under each splat, what would I have total? You would have 10 in total. Well, I have six and six. Six plus six is? 12 and 12 plus four is six. So it's 16. 16, good. And that goes back to what you're learning today with your two digit plus one digit, right? 12 plus four is 16. All right, let's see if she's right. All right, so now we know the total. If there's five in this one, what it has to be in that one? Show me with your hands. There's five in this one. How many would be in that one? Brielle, show me. I'm waiting for everybody. Susan, Isabella. I don't see everybody but Brielle. Still waiting. Oh, your computer's not working. All right, so yes, there would be five in each part. So there's five over here, five over here. What would be my total cruise? multi-step problem. Fourteen. Fourteen, how do you know? Um, four, I, so there was four and then five and five. Oh, four on the outside, five on the inside and five on the inside. So yes, a total of 14. All right, here we go. We're gonna do two more. You ready? Everybody's gonna participate. We're going fast. All right, here we go. All right, so, so far I have three, three dots and three splats. And they're all the same color. So, hmm, we know that they all have to be the same amount, right? So, Penny, there's four. So what does that tell me? If there's four in this one, then what? Okay. Okay, so if you agree, thumbs up. If you disagree, thumbs down. Hmm, interesting. I see the four, 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 and three. Hmm, interesting. Sophia, 
Why do you disagree? Because 4 plus 4 is 8, and then 8 plus 4 is it's 12, and then, and then um, there's 3, so then... Um, Be 15. 15. All right. So, Mason, do you have a different answer? You agree or disagree? I disagree because 12, 12 plus 3 doesn't. Oh, so you agree with Sophia? So you're good with Sophia? You agree? Remember, we do that little symbol. Means that I agree. All right. So, let's, let's check it. And it's okay, it's okay to be wrong. It's perfectly okay. That's when we grow and learn, right? I'm, I'm wrong most of the time. And that's when, I, well, that's when I grow and learn too. So there's four under this one. There's four under this one. Four, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yes, the answer, the correct answer would be 15. So the, an example of that, guys, the, and the reason I, the only reason I corrected it was because um, they're going to do that to you. If they give you this kind of problem on a, on a test or on a quiz, they're going to give you three options. One of them is going to be, the answer is going to be 13, one answer choice is going to be 14, and one answer choice is going to be 15. You got to make sure that you slow down and double check your work. Okay? That's, that's the big deal. You gotta slow down and really think about it and check your work because they are trying to trick you. It's almost like a trap, okay? So never fall for their traps. You are smarter than that. All right, let's do one more. So there are 15 total. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five. I can just glance at that. We have two splats. So Ivy, there are how many in this splat? Yes, ma'am. How many in this spot? Seven. seven. Good. If there's seven on this side, there has to be seven on that side. Kason, how many are there total all together? Where did Penny go? She disappeared. Oh, isn't she sad? Oh, there she is. Yay. Kason, how many are there all together? If there's seven on this side, how many are on this side? Okay, so how many all together? Thumbs up if you agree, thumbs down if you disagree. So Eli agrees. May Susan, what do you think? Are there, are there 20? Agree, disagree. And it's not like boo. It's not thumbs down as in boo, it's just I gotta see. So they said he said the answer was 20. Do you agree or disagree? Alright. So Real, do you agree or disagree? Okay. All right. Very interesting. All right. Who can I pick? From? Who? All right, Selena. How many? You, how many are there? You say you disagree. So what's the? What's your answer? He might be right. I don't know. Oh, 
you got 21. So how did you get 21? What did you do to get that answer? Oh, so you think it's 19? So which one is it, 19 or 21? 19. 19, and how did you get 19? Uh, so then you added the five, okay? Do you agree or disagree with 19? Boston, do you agree or disagree, sir? Agree, disagree. Isabella, agree, disagree. Okay, good, 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 good. Penny, you disagree. You agree with, you disagree with which one, 19 or, or 18? You disagree with 19, what's your answer? Okay, hmm. how'd you get 20? Then what would be under this? And seven more would be under that. And twelve plus seven is higher than nineteen. Okay, well let's find out. Everyone else says it's nineteen. Let's see who's right. And it's okay. You know what? I've had students before in the classroom. I've had A, B, C, D before. Where if you think it's A go in that, B go in that corner, C go in that corner, D go in that corner. I've had it before where one student, one student chose D, and the whole time that one student was correct. So way to stick to your gut and just just make sure, right? I've had that happen, and then, but every, every once in a while you have the kid will go, oh no, no, the answer C. And like the whole time the kid was right the first time. So always stick with your first answer. Because it usually, usually is correct. Not all the time, usually. So let's see who's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 13, uh, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Because there's five on the, I'm, did I do that right? Or did I do that wrong? Susan, did I do that right? Oh, I forgot one. So do I need to double check my work? Yes. But I'm the teacher. Oh, so it's okay to double check your work? Yes. Yeah, some of you are like, Mr. Clem, you messed up. Hmm. Sometimes you'll learn I do that on purpose, see if you're paying attention. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sometimes I just mess up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 is correct. So that's the importance of slowing down and double checking your work. All right, always slow down and double check your work. Don't go so fast that you're like, oh, this is too easy. Or, or Mr. Klump says the answer is 18, so that must be the answer. No, go back and double check your work, okay? All right, I will still have my 11 o'clock, 11, we will meet at 11.05. If you're in my 11 o'clock group, we will meet at 11.05. Um, otherwise, you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, awesome day, and I will see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Let me turn the light on and the camera off. Be right back. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>